Another week has passed and that means film focus. Here's Mike Laidman with what's new in local theaters. The opening of Captain Marvel last week gave the 2019 box office a much needed kick in the pants. So let's try to keep things rolling, shall we? This week sees the opening of a thriller meant to keep you from ever having fun again, as well as an animated title called Tall Tales, a French movie called Some Cute Little Bugs that's now getting an English release. Here's a little tip. If you watch Tall Tales after Escape Room, you may actually regain your sense of adventure and shed some of your fear. Maybe. In the meantime, welcome to another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Laidman. The last decade or so has seen the explosion of escape rooms all around the world, and they've even made their way to Jeju over the last couple of years. The premise is simple. You're taken to a room, or rooms, and must use your smarts and clues to escape. But here, the stakes are just a tad higher. Escape Room is a psychological thriller about six strangers who find themselves in circumstances beyond their control and must use their wits to find the clues or die. If that doesn't sound like your idea of fun, I'm not blaming you. But if we take a step back, we'll see that while the movie starts strong, it finishes weak. Not something you want in a thriller per se. It is tense though, offering some smatterings of both Saw and Final Destination. It will satisfy fan of the genre, but just don't go looking for miracles. Have you ever seen things that weren't there before? I am not imagining this. Surviving is a choice. Yep. I want to yep. let me out of here. Yep. 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 That's why they chose us. And just like last week, here's one for the kids. When Apollo, a kind-hearted traveling performer and ingenious cricket, lands in the village of the funny little bugs, the whole kingdom is about to be disrupted. The beloved reigning queen bee Marguerite is soon kidnapped on the orders of her jealous and treacherous cousin Wendy, who sets up a trap to frame Apollo for the crime, causing panic and despair in the hive. It's quick, it's cute, and it should please the young ones. It's not going to win any awards for its animation, voice acting, or, well, story, but there is enough whimsical charm here to keep the audience occupied for 77 minutes, which is sometimes just enough.